Welcome to That's Hilarious. Cheers, Chase. Here we go. Awkward silence. <laughs> That's how we fucking get the show started, dude. I haven't eaten. <laughs> We're going to have fun. Hey, guys. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pat, how's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> Pat's got his cans on, dog. Welcome to That's Hilarious. Um, the very first episode back, baby. I'm back. <laughs> I'm better than ever. Did you, did you get my throat swallowing on that? Just yeah, <laughs> dude, you can hear everything. <laughs> this is ASMR. You're good Gold at that, bro. Right there. You're good at that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so welcome to That's Hilarious. Uh, this is my podcast. Um, this is the uh, my first guests. So I'm going to yeah. do a cup of a quick intro really quick, all right? Just to talk shit. Just to talk about how much I love these two near and dear fellows <laughs> of mine. Um, <clears throat> so I chose to have... First off, Scott is dead. Uh, we re- <laughs> yeah, we regret to up. inform you. Um, he passed away on the toilet. Uh, his worst fear. <laughs> Um, it happened to him, you <laughs> know what I mean? He was he choked on a Subway sandwich uh, while he was eating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love you, Scott. Uh, welcome. I, I want to introduce my first guest. It's uh, producer Pat, your homie Pat. Welcome. Round of applause for Pat. Round of motherfucking applause. I first met Pat uh, at the Jeez. Tiger, you know what I mean? And he was like, you have a nice asshole. And I was like, thank you, dude. And I said the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, we became Your friends. Your whole ass is nice. I didn't say <laughs> asshole. <laughs> but Pat's a really funny guy. Uh, this is a different vibe than Deuterman Homie Bro, because this is uh, we're going to talk about our feelings here. You know what I mean? We're not going to. It's not a comedy thing, but it is going to be a comedy <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, Pat, uh, he's one of my good friends. I trust him. I love him. He, I, I trust his comedy sense. Um, you know what I mean? I think he's really funny. So I decided to have him on here. Uh, this is all part of the plan. <laughs> hey, welcome, Pat. And uh, then now we have uh, Chase Otero, What's up? the young heartthrob Chase out here in the streets with the camera. You know him. You've seen him on or heard him on the original. That's hilarious. Audio only for the sex operator uh, vibes out there. Um, but I first met Chase. I'm already drunk. I first <laughs> chug. I first met Chase. Uh, when did I first fucking meet you? That's what I'm saying. I don't. I think it was that Blind Tiger. It had to have been. So I met everybody. Yeah. It's an invite only crowd. I'd I'd say you know when I was there, at the beginning. It's not that much of an invite only. But anyways, you need an introduction. All right. So Chase is really dope. He is a great photographer. He's a good hang. He invited me one time to the UTSA tailgate. We got fucking lit. So I was like, this guy's all right. This guy's cool. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, we both like the same books. Uh, you you know? read? I don't read. <laughs> 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 like uh, Into the Wild. That's a yeah. good one. From Anyways, wake em, welcome, Ch- wake em. Wake em, Chase Otero, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Go, dude. We're going to continue to drink. Thanks, Thank sir. you for being on here, dude, guys. Thanks for having me on, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Him too. Absolutely. This is all part of the plan. Um, you can't see, but behind Chase is our very uh, fancy That's Hilarious sign. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's funny, right? <laughs> it's welcome. All right, Chase. So would you rather, every time you watch porn, hmm. your mom gets a notification about it, <laughs> and you can't, she can't use her phone until you stop. She's going to get a notification about you watching porn, oh. and... Uh, I demand you to leave right now. Uh, <laughs> What's the other? <laughs> Dude, I saw it really quick to interrupt that. I, I saw that from Kevin Nealon one time. I saw him at LOL. And like some lady, he was in the middle of a set. And Legend, some lady first off. just fucking got up in the middle of his shit. And without missing a beat, he was just like, I demand you to leave. And like, he just <laughs> killed him, bro. Yeah, um, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah. I'm already right. fucking up as a producer. I left the fan on. So Jesus. That's a, that's a All right. good. Would you rather... Um, Chase, every time you watch porn, your mom gets a notification about it and a the- detailed notification about what you watch. Oh, I was going to ask. I'm like, and she can't use her phone until you stop using porn. That's not oh. a big deal. Or no else. more porn. No more porn, probably. Really? Well, it's like Facebook care. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> they, this porn on Facebook? And then I just. I don't know photos. I guess it don't take much for Chase. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> would you fucking um, jerk off to magazines of like fucking so, Home Depot or what? <laughs> um, yeah, they're circulars, maybe. Right. No, but that's that's a bad. Would you rather? If I'm going to be honest, I'm going to turn the tables on you, man. Go ahead. You got a better one. So you have you trying to upstage me <laughs> yeah. on my own podcast? So. My mom is pretty boomer status, so she's not like on her phone like a teenager necessarily, you know. Hmm. So, I'd probably pick no porn. Okay, because that sounds like the easy out. As okay. Well, you know, what about you? I would be like, sorry, mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah. So it tells you the, the title of the porn or how long yeah. you masturbated, when you came? Like, brother, fuck, sister, again. This is like uh, the ultimate yeah. Be Real application, if you know about Be Real. Be Real Cypress Hill? Do you know that? Is that from Cypress Hill? I get No, no. Be Real is a uh, new app, new social media. Have you heard, you heard about this? Oh, uh, no. Damn. Uh, so, okay, so this is an I app. I thought Cypress Hill, too. What the fuck? Yeah. Old heads of shit, bro. Y'all, I think I'm my age. I've been told I have an old soul. Uh, you know, the same from all the loves of my life that the, I've met. Not to no. advertise Be Real, but it is an app where they send you a notification at a random time every day, and you have to take a selfie. And it takes a uh, double photo, so it would take the photo in front of you and a selfie. And it's like, okay, everybody, be real. Two minutes, and then uh, like you could post late and stuff, but like you get, you know, everybody has to post at the same time. I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth right <laughs> now, dude. Yeah, so it just tells you you need to take a photo now. Yeah, yeah, it'll send you like, hey, be real. It's literally that dumb, <laughs> dude. It's awesome, bro. Be real. I thought it was like just the, no. like be roll. No, be real. Be like, real. Be real. Yes. Be. It's like real. a game, I guess, huh? <laughs> hey, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> What's the craziest Uber ride you've ever experienced? <laughs> Get in trouble. Go ahead. Tell the world. Uh, craziest Uber ride. I was in. Uh, I was in Seattle, and we were staying at this Airbnb, and uh, the Uber driver. Driver. I'm not even drunk. I had a Red Bull. This is a sugar-free Red Bull. Uh, affected me. Stop lying. But um, <laughs> he he was going the wrong way. He, he for some reason he put the wrong address. It was the same street, but just the opposite side of the street. And so he drives into this like empty, like uh, like a closed store parking lot, and he goes like, "Here you go." I was like, "This isn't this isn't our stop. This isn't uh, like our Airbnb." He's like, "Well, this is what the map says." I was like, "Well, this is not where we stay." And so I pulled up my phone and I put the address in there. I was like, "Dude, we're like four minutes back that way." And so I was like, "Just follow my maps." I make him <laughs> drive back right. The the thing's still going. It's still charging me. <laughs> and so we get to the Airbnb, and I was like, you're giving me 11 bucks. <laughs> what? Bimo? <laughs> no. I was like, you're charging me. I was like, you're giving me 11 bucks right now. And this is, uh, we went on a trip. It was me and my wife, my, my sister-in-law, and my sister-in-law's wife. And so they're in the back seat, and I'm just like, I fucking pretty much robbed the guy. Because <laughs> he took us to the wrong place. And because he had to go the opposite way for four more minutes, I was like, that was still like, it was still charging me. Wow. So I was like, I'm going to pay for this. I was like, I'll give you five stars, but <laughs> you're giving me 11 bucks right he, now. He did it? And he, he gave me 11 bucks. That's awesome. Cash or what? Yeah, cash. Who and has then, eleven dollars cash? And then honestly. I get off the car, and I, I get off the car, and I realize, I just robbed this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he felt bad, but it wasn't my fault. He took That's me to the wrong, the wrong place. He put the address in wrong. This was before. This was before it says like you put your own address. Yeah, yeah it yeah. just it, it tells you where to pick up, and then you say, okay, I'm going to this, that, the other. Yeah. So he he put the wrong address. It's weird he didn't listen to you as you're like, no, this is wrong. He's like, that's what the app says. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it's like no, fam. I'm not staying at this closed down store or whatever the fuck. Yeah. And like I was like, we're just the opposite way. He put west instead of east or something like that. Mm. So same street. So I'm driving. I was like, I don't. This isn't familiar. And then got it, pulled up on maps, made him drive the opposite way, and then I came. <laughs> Give me eleven dollars, damn! And he gave me eleven dollars, and then uh, and then I got out of the car <laughs> and very $10? specific, yeah. yeah. That's well, that's I mean that's all it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's all it was. Um, so that's yeah, great. my the craziest one is when I robbed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you frame it like that. Awesome. Yeah. What well, I didn't it didn't connect uh, to me that after I got out the car I was like, wow, I, I just I robbed that guy. 
for $11. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's a sign of a good person, for one. I mean, immediate regret. But, I mean, like, I I, I got charged. It, it evened out, you know, because I... He still got that money from me just through the app, and I gave tip? him. I gave him five stars. I did not tip. <laughs> okay, but I gave him five stars. So that's a given, bro. Come on, bro. No, it's you're, not a you're given. You're supposed to give five. stars. <laughs> you're not supposed to. It's like yeah. I've given. I've given negative. Uh, you given four stars, right? I've given one. Damn, are you a secret Yelp reviewer as well, man? <laughs> Show up to the restaurant. I, like, hmm, what's going on here? I never was, but I've had some fun times on Yelp. I'll give like businesses a bad Yelp review. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bro. <laughs> now you know when you're 40. It is. Uh, it is. Um, it's fun. I understand why people care. In. Yeah, <laughs> caring. Caring is fun, dude. Yeah, is, you yeah. should try it. It's it's, it's it's pretty dope. It's cheaper than therapy. Have you ever had like a crazy Uber experience, um, Young Chase? I did have one. I kind of forgot it listening to his story. That's pretty <laughs> nuts, dude. Like <laughs> you never I been wanna... robbed. <laughs> you never robbed anybody. <laughs> Um, on your way home damn circle back to me in a minute i'll definitely remember but just definitely like aggressively going at the uber <laughs> to like pay you is sick i don't know it, if there was a negotiation either bro. it was like 15 nah 11 all right it 11. made sense no i wasn't trying to get more than what i, I was <laughs> old like, this is it man yeah pandemic i used to be deep in these streets in the uber game you know what i mean and mm. everybody was all like wear your mask don't wear your mask like you know what oh, i mean yeah. it was always like weird because i was living in houston at the time and this one time i had a fun adventure ubering uh <laughs> i picked up this uh this young lady from a, a liquor <laughs> store and um this is a different perspective too this is the driver's i was the driver's perspective right <laughs> she fucking robbed me eleven dollars <laughs> <laughs> i picked her up from, yeah. from her house and she's going to the liquor store she goes in i fucking she comes out like with two bottles of like vodka or whatever the fuck she got and then i take her back to her house and she like looks at me once we stop and she's like what are you about to do <laughs> and i was like uh I'm my own boss. You know what I mean? <laughs> I call my own shots. Uh, nothing. Like She's like, you want to come inside? I was like, yeah, I got some weed. What's up? Like You got the <laughs> fucking, you got the, the drink. I got the weed. Like, let's do the damn thing. So That's like a porno, dude. Yeah. So we did the damn thing. There we go. It y'all, went y'all cool, it? but after, like, it was over, she after was like, was over. she was like, uh, hey, <laughs> she was like, hey, um, by the way, I live with my mom, my sister, and her niece, and they're all going to come home right now, and they don't know that you're here. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so they all get home. No, she told me, like, hey, they're not going to be home for, like, an hour, so you're good. Mm-hmm. But I can we, be quiet. Yeah, we finish, and they all get home, and she's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And she's, like, panicking like a little kid. She's, like, she's a grown-ass woman. She's, like, like 30, 40 years old, and uh, she's like, oh, my God. Can like, I take we, a guess? We have to lie. Is she Hispanic? She was. Oh, okay, yeah, that's where the family goes. Yes. She Hella was. anxiety. <laughs> Hella anxiety. <laughs> I'm Hispanic. I can say that. And she was like, oh, my God. Like, we got to come up with a lie to fucking get you out of here. Like, oh, look, rough. I'm going to introduce you. Like, it's my gay best friend. And you're just going to say hi to my fucking Easy. abuelita y todo. <laughs> no, nah. good. But, um... Yeah, so I was like, what the fuck? I was like, fuck that shit. So I was like, all right, whatever, I'll play along. So, bro, like the family gets home, the door's open. I see them, they all immediately go to the kitchen. I see the front door from where I'm at, from her room. And as soon as like they all go to the kitchen, I just jet the fuck out of there. I'm like, I'm not fucking saying hi to these people. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, bro. So, yeah. First question. Pretty wild. Did she leave a review before you left? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this better be fucking five stars. <laughs> yeah, I'm excellent coming back. service. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm coming That's back, sick. dude. Yeah. That's a sick story, dude. I almost did I almost did rob a guy. I almost <laughs> I almost got away with it. It happens. Because he was a dick. Like I pulled up to his house and he's like, Can you put my bag in your car? I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, dude. I was like, I was like, he he sent me the message before I showed up. He was like, um, park in the driveway specifically, and once you get here, pop your trunk and put my bag in your car. Damn. That's and awesome. like, so already, like on the way, I'm like, fuck this guy. You know what I mean? Because he was going to the airport, which is a good drive. It's a good, it's a good trip mm-hmm. to take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a lengthy trip. Um, and we ended up like having a war of words and. Um, 
I was just like, get the fuck out, dude. You know what Damn. I mean? What? And when he got the fuck out, the meter, the thing was still going. So I was like driving, and it was still going, right? I ended up getting like $42 out of it, right? Oh, shit. Which I thought, like three weeks later, I get a, like a bank withdrawal from forty two dollars because yeah. he put in like a claim. And, oh like, yeah. man! <laughs> Last laugh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. What was his name? You remember that? Fuck no! Fuck that guy. Damn, I bet it was like an <clears throat> Xavier or something. I've done that before. Like I've submitted a claim because like. Uh, Damn, y'all are wild with the Uber a, stories, bro. A driver would t- well, it was going the wrong like took the wrong route. You know, she took like the the roundabout thing, and I fucking put in the claim, got forty three cents back. Just one time. That's terrible, man. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> okay, I got my story. This, it's the it's principle quick. of it. <laughs> it's short and sweet. I went to Denver one time, flew in Colorado first time. Awesome, dude. I, w- I would say Colorado is Texas don't, 2.0. Don't brag, dude. What? No, I'm just kidding. Go. Oh, I mean, come on, man. It's not that far. Anyway, Uber landed. Boom, Uber right to Taco Bell. And I don't know if you knew we were going there, but we were like, we pulled an audible, bro. We're like, yo. We oh, yeah, any. that's always cool when we're they're like, just uh, like, hey. Let's go to the drive through real quick. And he's like, like can we do sure. this? Yeah. And boom. Literally have the edibles or whatever in our ba- other bag. Like, yeah, we just haven't eaten. So, like. And then we went to the hotel. Nice. And that was it. Joe fuck? And he was cool. <laughs> no, no, he was not. No, he was but I had to sneak out because he was living with his whole family. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was Pat. (laughs) Dude, this one time I picked up this lady and uh, like I started joking with them. Like, you know what I mean? Because I like to make jokes and shit when I was an Uber driver. Um, (laughs) Run the new bits? (laughs) Yeah, running running material. Um, Because like, you know, they always like to ask you like, oh, so what else do you do? And shit like that. You know what I mean? I was like, to make the ladies feel extra comfortable, I'd always be like, I human traffic. You know what I mean? <laughs> JK, JK. Moonlight, <laughs> and then uh, this, and then like during this trip, like I missed a turn, I missed an exit, or whatever. It was in Houston, I didn't know. Um, and I made a wrong turn, and she's like, she started freaking out. She's like, nah, like where the fuck you going? Like she started going off on me. She's like, nah, like you wasn't playing. Like she was fucking going off, and uh, she's like, pull over. She's like, pull over, pull the fuck over. I was like, all right. So I pull over at this like hotel, and I'm like, look. Lady, I have a fucking son. Like, what am I? Like, what am I gonna do? Human Is she traffic. In the back seat? I was like, what am I gonna do with you? Um, yeah, she's in the back seat. Okay. Right. And uh, I was like, "Look, it was a joke. Like, I'm not, I'm not human trafficking anybody." Whoa, it was because of that. Yeah, because oh, the joke I made fuck. initially, right? Did you tell her you're a comedian? Yeah. No, I wasn't at the time. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> she pulls over. No, I'm funny. I swear. They laugh. <laughs> this is a good one. We pull over, and I'm like, "Yo, look." She's like. I was like, you can get out. You you can you can call another <laughs> Uber. You can stay. I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, you can call another Uber. Like, bro, like seriously, it's not that big of a deal. I don't care. She's like, how much more I got? And I was like, you got like seven miles left. She's like, all right, I guess you could take me. I'm like, what the fuck is like? So seven miles was like your your fucking price mm, of like sick, getting human trafficking, getting like kidnapping, you know what I mean? Like she's Damn. like, all right, well it's only seven miles. I guess I won't get kidnapped and everything, but she freaked out. So then I asked this fun story for both of y'all. Stop yeah, doing that. that. Yeah, you know. I didn't know you had so many wild Uber stories. <laughs> I was crazy. I, I didn't was even know you were drivers for one. You know what we do, dog. Damn, we out here right. in these streets. Yeah, just write it down, keep it in a book. I threw a guy's fucking this one guy. I was out in the country and he was like this old, like Trump supporter dude. He looked like seventy years old, just white, gray beard, uh-huh. and he got in the front seat. <clears throat> this was COVID time. Power so move. And power I was like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, hey man, what are you doing? Like get in the back. He's like, <laughs> yeah, dude, he's like, what are you a pussy or something? Are you scared of this fucking COVID? And all that shit. And I was like, all right, man. Well, you just lost your ride. And then he's like, I'll fuck you up. Like, I'll beat you the fuck up right now. And, like, that's when I, like, just took off. Like, I fucking gassed it. My car door was open. And he was, like, standing, like, outside of the car door. Like, you're not going to fucking let me in. So I, like, I fucking pressed the car. Like, I just 
press on the gas mm -hmm. and as I'm going like the car door slams shut and like his backpack is in the back seat and I just fucking throw his fucking backpack outside oh the, my <laughs> God. Like, yeah, outside dude. the window as like a my like fucking like so, like far enough to where I know he sees it and he's gonna have to walk oh my God. and like oh. fucking get it damn I know why you're not an Uber driver anymore uh, dude. you know what I have fun times <laughs> they canceled in, his account in those streets <laughs> give us a bad name <laughs> had fun dude had fun times you have multiple kicking out customer stories <laughs> that's awesome you know man. it's not them it's me you know uh, yeah and i wow. get it yeah so you're a Lyft driver. It. that's when i realize i'm not a people person i'm like you know what <laughs> yeah probably this isn't the right profession for me so uh dude, that's it. sick dude hey give me some Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's sick dude put your foot down for one is dope as because <laughs> yeah, you know nine people out of ten are thinking that Never yeah, do it, bro. Never do it. Yeah, like, yeah I'm gonna throw his backpack out, out too. Like, no. Bro, you fucking did it, man. That's awesome. That's you had a comedy question for us. You said you were gonna you wanted our real reaction. Uh you remember yeah. that? Yeah, I do. Too drunk. All right. Um so you know, there. the scene in San Antonio, how do y'all feel about this scene first off? I wanna get a lukewarm temperature vibe. Uh, is it like good? What do we feel? Like? I think it's the best scene in the world. I think every single <laughs> comedian the uh, <laughs> out there is working hard. They're they're grinding. It's uh they're authentic, they're original. Um it's it's the best comedy scene. Um, is that genuine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We All have right. we have <laughs> <laughs> have, Thank God, man. We Thank have God. potential. <laughs> we have <laughs> potential. In the world. Um, you know, there's a few bad apples out there. Uh, so, I don't know. What Chris the, Rock said. Dude, so do you think we could pull off a funniest in San Antonio? Sure. Definitely. We've had them before. The LOL used to run them. Oh, we're funniest in, in Texas. So it would be like uh, with uh, other cities. But uh, I should have rephrased that. Because this is also what we go by, San Antonio. The funniest in South Texas. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. like a whole different ballgame, I think. But we should definitely do like a funniest in San Antonio. Somebody could pull it off. LOL could pull it off. Yeah. Maybe not even name it the funniest. Maybe like, you know. Texas funny, funny. Ha ha. Texas. They used to have one like that. Yeah. The ha ha ist. Yeah, because I know there was like, you know, Austin's doing the funniest person in Austin. Yeah. I know Houston's doing the funniest person in Houston. Oh, right they do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Damn. that's actually Houston's going on. Houston's vibe is sick, bro. I fuck with Houston's shit, man. That's real. going on right now. Um, Austin, the winner was like uh, this guy yeah, named Tyler just, Gross. Just happened, yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing his name. Do y'all know right? him or heard of him? Or? He's been to the Tiger a couple of times. I don't, I've never oh, talked shit. to him, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blind Tiger. Fuck yeah. Yeah, congrats, man. Um, yeah, I checked his IG. I think like 1.2 thousand. I was yeah, like, oh, I was very surprised. I was like, man, he must have a uh, must, have, must have gripped that crowd, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good credit to have. Must have ringed out that fucking absolutely. Towel. Yeah, I would you love can to get have a credit like that. You know, for sure, you can always get booked and worked with that shit. In Houston, um, I saw this one Instagram post today about some of the finalists in Houston. I know. Um, I think her name is Jay Cookie on Instagram or Julia <laughs> Cook or something like that. I don't know. Um, she's uh, really funny. Patrick Eady. Uh, shout out to Patrick Eady from Houston. He's really dope. He's a he's, beast. He's a cool dude. Yeah. Uh, Will Loden. Will Loden. He's really funny, man. Uh, he's out there too. Shout out. Um, yeah. And I and there, there was a couple of other people. Jeff Joe. Jeff, Jeff Joe was dude. out there. Yeah, man. Right him. Shout out to Jesse Saldania and uh, Jeff Joe, Chicken and Tacos. Homie. They're really dope, dude. You think there's anybody, in, any comics in Houston talking about San Antonio comics? Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, bro, but that's why we're here, man. We're here to mix the pot. We're, we're trying to get that salad with some croutons in it. I really do feel that, like, as a smaller scene, like, you know what I mean? That is, like, a, we're like the um, the junior NBA team. To, we're like the, the, <clears throat> the D-League to their, okay. like, NBA team. You know that, what I mean? Like, just as a small that, scene. That's a mindset, but we're that's also... WNBA team. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's a mindset for sure, but, like, you could keep looking at it that way too, bro. And the, the cool thing about Houston, like, they're they're so nice, dude. Like, if, yeah. if you say, like, oh, I'm going to come in town, can I get any shows? Like, they'll hook you up. Like, they want to help out out-of-town people, which is fucking great. Houston's sick, man. I feel like we could totally replicate that scene here in San Antonio. I mean, San Antonio is also being the largest sick city in the country, I believe. Something like that? Something like that. Yeah, sixth or seventh <laughs> large, largest city in the country. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's a beautiful uh, scene out there in Houston. Shout out to the secret group, uh, Andrew Youngblood, who runs that shit, I believe. I think he's the owner. I have no idea. That's what I heard one time in the wind, so I, that's what yeah. I went with. He dope. <clears throat> yeah, man. Do you think we could have a uh, San Antonio's funniest, funniest? Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, didn't you say they already had it? Maybe They, like, well, they did funniest in uh, South Texas. Okay. So in Texas. So something. would San Antonio, like, speci- specifying, would that be better than South Texas? Because it would just be the city. It would just be San Antonio, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah, 100%. Like, Who's your favorite, uh, who are some of your favorite I comics? Knew, I knew this was coming. San Antonio. I knew this was coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do they have to be, like, from San Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> who are you some to... of your favorite comics in San Antonio, Chase? I thought you were trying to big up San Antonio, and then you're like, well, yeah, they're... <laughs> yeah, uh, well, they from me more like here. from Austin. Uh, there's one guy from Dallas. Um, He's fucking hilarious. And so <laughs> I see a lot of comics off the stage, too, so I don't know. I mean, that I am biased, so first off, I am saying that. But So uh, is he. Oh, wait, bias. Yeah. Well, then... <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know. I would say that was good. Zach Dixon, pretty fucking funny, man. That is that is a funny ass comic, bro. Great human being. Uh, George Anthony, you know, of course, dude. I'll see him perform and just straight murder. Act Killer. like it's nothing, man. Killer. Uh, I know y'all also shouted out Josso Kabasa, right? That was some of y'all's favorite, and I will agree that he's fucking funny as fuck. Man. Yeah, him, Raul, and George for sure. Some yeah. of the funniest guys in San Antonio. I would say a group like that, you know, I. There's a lot of people. I, I also go to the Blind Tiger a lot. You know, shout out Blind Tiger, but they have one of the best sets just every week, man. Every week. And so I don't know if you're saying that people that go there, you know, San Antonio vibe, but those are, those are probably be the top, man. <clears throat> Some of the best in in town are at the Blind Tiger. Y'all are pretty funny though, too. Uh, I I love <laughs> Tiger. I you had to say that. <laughs> you had to say that. Respect. <laughs> we'll pay you later. Uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all too. I love I love Tiger. I believe in Tiger because they are like caring about like your growth and progress as a comic, whether you know you buy into the system or not. But like there are benefits of being a Tiger comic, and that's really like a privilege you get to have as a San Antonio comedian. And like <clears throat> then there's people who are not a part of Tiger. Who are great as well too, mm-hmm. and sometimes you can miss out on some extra work of like working on your set or getting better if you don't have like a community that cares about you getting better. You know what I mean? Like if you mm. just have a community of people who just hype you up every single time you get on stage with the same jokes. Hey, good and set! Just like oh my god, good set, bro! You did amazing. Um, that could be you know a little bit detrimental to your growth as a comic like you gotta hear you suck sometimes or that was hacky or hey what the fuck are you doing Mm -hmm. um and i think like you know you gotta have thick skin to like be a comic and you gotta be able to talk shit and dish shit out and take shit and uh i think people just nowadays don't like criticism of anything man you know and it's like you need that tough love bro that is also it's very pc did you hear uh speaking of did y'all see I think I sent this, I don't know if I sent this as the group chat, but there was this teacher in Canada um, who identifies as trans. She was a high school, he or she is a high school teacher. And, uh, but he or she had like ridiculous, like prosthetic breasts mm. oh, that I were saw like. A photo of that, yeah. I mean, over the top ridiculous. <laughs> like it. This is like something out of a cartoon. She was like the real, like life Miss Chokes on Dick from South Park. Like <laughs> uh, her tits were like literally the size of like two basketballs, and they like hung down like to her stomach, and they were prosthetics. So they're, so they're not even real, but the school was like, you know, we back gender rights and all that shit like that. But I, I think it was just absolutely ridiculous. Like, be who you want to be. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't give a shit. But, like, I think there's a time and place. Like, if you want to be a trans teacher, like, hey, maybe wear a B or C cup. <laughs> you know? That's your job. That's awesome. But what if she identifies as a big titty bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you got to respect it, dude. It was just controversial. And, and at the same time, I saw that, like, this 
woman on an airline got kicked out of her seat because her breasts were too big. <laughs> That's sick. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on right now in this world? You know what I mean? Was she trans? The, oh, <laughs> no, she wasn't. She was like, you know. That's uh, nice. Dude, a regular I, woman. I, no, gotta, uh, I gotta get a new bumper for my car too, man. That shit's dope, man. Uh, I think I've given up on humanity for sure. <laughs> like, I think the world does not make sense. And I think that's like, like they're do- something's happening on purpose. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, obviously, like you know, there's politicians controlling like women's rights about like the vagina issue. Yeah, the sick. vagina. You've heard about the <laughs> vagina issue. Um, Is that the sequel to the <laughs> vagina monologue? <laughs> But yeah, dude, like you just see things every day. That's just like a vagina <laughs> issue. <laughs> That's just like ass backwards, bro. Like what the fuck? And uh, it's, yeah. it's I think we much. need a real leader at the helm, man. That's, That's so why f- I'm voting Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny dude Welcome like what if that was rally. a question on like one of the like presidential debates like what are your thoughts on the <laughs> vagina issues <laughs> keep them wet <laughs> <laughs> this was paid for by wet vaginas <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know man shout out Kamala um, or, I heard a, somebody on a podcast was like yo the, Kamala. the world is turning more Disney you know, and the internet, I guess, it was what they're referring to. But, you know, I mean, it's just like, hey, man, people don't like some criticism. They don't like that clap back. Mm-mm. No, um, definitely not in today's society, which is weird. You know, I think the internet was a good and bad thing for us, for <laughs> sure. You know, Most are y'all addicted to social media? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, I like Twitter. It's pretty dope. Twitter is so great. It's Twitter, cancer. It's literally cancer. Twitter is like my fucking newspaper. Uh, but yeah, Twitter is great. But I found myself today like checking like social media too fucking much. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, mm-hmm. dude? You know what I mean? You ever have like a day off and you're like, oh, I'm on my phone way too much today. Yeah. You know, you know? there's a screen time thing. Do y'all, do y'all have that yeah, shit? I do. Like, yeah. hey, your screen time. Was I have fucking... to get, scroll to find it, but I, I'll sometimes, you know, I go and look. I get like weekly updates of like, your screen time was up or down like 25% this what is, week. What is it at usually? Dude. I'm... Like on a bad day or like average, maybe. Um, it's high. Eight, it's high. Eight, eight nine. It was yeah, eight. Okay, I'm like, this is like a full time job. What yeah, am I doing? That's crazy. I'm yeah. like, why the fuck am I on this fucking but, rectangle? Know, for I don't know about y'all. I, I love podcasts. Like, I love like you know watching, listening, and that counts towards it. Especially yeah, yeah, if it's yeah, YouTube yeah. and it's like a video or like Spotify. Mm, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. So that kind of you know that does count as screen time for sure. Uh, podcasts, like you know, if you're looking at the visual for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man. Like dude or man, homie, bro. Shout out. Shout out, go watch and subscribe and like to the pods, babe. Um, How did that come together, by the way? I don't know if we want to delve into that, but... This guy. That's pretty sick, man. Yeah, the origin story of Dude Man <laughs> Homie, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's man, hilarious. We just wanted to hang out and we wanted to call something funny. And it was, it was just like, I say Friends was taken. Uh, well, I meant Friends, the TV show, but now uh, Davey Jackson has a uh, podcast called Friends with Davey. That's sick, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just like, oh, friends was taken, and then it was at that time where like there was that whole like uh, chingona comedy and <laughs> Yo, lost chingona and dude. all that stuff, and I was like, yeah, man, let's just like fuck around, and just call it like Duder Man, Homie Bro, and we're just like, we're just buddies, just hanging out, uh, and it sounds funny. A real feminist pod um, for all you <clears throat> likes, yeah. listeners, and subscribers <laughs> out there. Uh, yeah, man. Um, That's cool. This guy was just like, "Hey, we should start a pod." I was like, "All right, mm. I'm down." And uh, Steve Jobs of the group. Yeah. And so then you're, he was you're like, Warzniak, "Maybe." And then he was like, "We should fucking we should get Scott on it." And I was like, "Yeah, that's fucking dope." Who's that? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he will be missed. <laughs> but yeah, what and, sucks about Scott? Like he 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 ghosts us a lot. And every time he doesn't answer, we we kind of freak out. We are like, oh fuck, because he 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 uh, tries to outrun trains. <laughs> um, he's, Excuse me. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, man. He's a risk taker, and uh, it he's, scares us. He's one of a kind, though. Um, there's not another Scott in this world for sure. Uh, so we love him. We appreciate him, but. 
<laughs> and it's a good thing that we have his emergency emergency <laughs> contacts information because uh, we can find somebody that knows where Scott is. Shout out Oscar. What's up, Oscar? Thank you for uh, keeping us in the know. Yeah. And, uh, Safe and sound. Yeah, we put, live, guys. He's still alive. Put, yeah. put in He's our good. stress at ease uh, for now. Goddamn. Who is? Uh, have you ever broken up with a best friend? <laughs> Where'd you get this, man? <laughs> yeah, Chase. <laughs> uh, no, oh, you fucked know. someone's girl, Chase? No, no, Damn, I'm bro, super bad know. about breaking up, but I'm also know. super bad about starting up as well. So, Ooh. you know, it's a small business. Likes to play hard to get. <laughs> the chase is better than the catch. Yeah. Ooh. No, I don't know. I do a lot of like, I don't know. No pun. Sometimes intended. text breakups are dope. You know, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta let them know, analog style. What is wh- <laughs> what is the worst breakup y'all have ever been through? I remember one time in like sixth or seventh grade, <laughs> they they broke up with me. They sent a cur- a carrier, like a cur- a, cur- a courier pigeon dressed as a seventh grade female, and she came to my lunch table. This was like the packed lunch table, man. This was like ten, twelve people, and she uh yeah she was just like yo, she broke up with you, and then just walked off. And then everybody at the table was like, ooh. Yeah, and dude. then I just had to sit in it and be like, it's fine. <laughs> I don't it's even fine. care. I don't even care. You weren't the first I made out with. I don't <laughs> care. Damn. Yeah. I just dusted that memory off. That was not fun. Uh, anyway. Yeah, this is what we like to do on That's that was Hilarious. Not we bring cool, up dude. traumas that you're not, <laughs> <laughs> you're not done with or didn't. you forgot yeah. you had. No, I was sick, though. You know, looking back at it, uh, it was fucking tight. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> it was fucking tight. I remember, I remember who delivered that message, but I don't remember who was at that table. But no, nah, it was pretty. Yeah, it was middle school shit, man. That was the worst schooling of my life, too. I don't know about y'all. I mean, high school was chill. Middle school was the worst, man. <laughs> Not fun. Not fun. Anyway, Pat, what about you, dude? I've, I've, I know y'all won't believe me, but I've never been broken up with. Wow. This the guy. worst yes and I've ever heard. Get of, over dude. yourself. Is this a bo- comedy podcast, bro? I mean, I've been, <laughs> I've, I've been told no a lot. I've been, oh, I've been cheated cool. on twice. He's consensual. It's oh, the ultimate power move. Dude. But, uh, never been, uh, I don't, I mean, uh, and if I was broken up with, I, it didn't matter. It didn't count because I don't remember <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I still remember that great story you told about your ex. Yeah. Uh, oh fuck. Um, that's hilarious. Um, due to my homie, bro. Um, man, that's yeah. That's Do you have an great acronym? Story. DMHB. DMHB. <laughs> okay, you gotta think about it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, it's programmed in my brain now at this point. But if, good, I, if it was brand new, I'd be like, uh. shout out, Duder. All right. Yeah. I was gonna bring this up, but. Who the who, okay? So who's the Duder man, homie, bro, bro? All of us. Nah, we're not all, taking that. We're all one. We're all the same. We're I gender get, fluid. This should be a not to be a producer, but this should be a question that y'all ask every podcast. Who is the Duder man, homie, bro? Yeah, because I got an answer for you. Who do you think you're yeah. the Duder, bro? Are you uh, kidding me? You're the bro. You, you you're the did, bro. You do say bro. Duder a lot, so you have to be Duder. Bro, you're the fucking Duder, bro. I really, I was really <laughs> shooting for <laughs> homie. Uh, <laughs> homie, uh, I think the homie, homie Scott. The homie is the guest every time, in my opinion. Oh, good. So call. the man good is call. Scott. You're the bro, and then the homie's bo- the guest. I don't like that. Scott's the man. I'm gonna say that right now. <laughs> it's whatever. I got beef with you, Scott. Yeah, at least starting now. <laughs> you ain't the man, dog. Yeah. Stop running from this fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who you got in the fight, me or Scott? Uh, Scott. All Get the fuck Get out the, of here, dude. It's just the weight. Walk I mean, the you got reach. You got the reach for Walk sure. The yeah, you fuck got the reach out. for sure. If you could, like, tire him out. Yeah. Which I will. Yeah, not for sure, bro. We don't got the same gas tank. But that's, if he That's com- a goddamn fact. If he comes out <laughs> swinging and connects instantly, you're done. No. I got a fucking jaw, baby. <laughs> Dog, he's got that delivery skills, bro. He's gonna deliver yeah. one of these. <laughs> nah, he's know. got like two, three. Honestly, swings. honestly, five round fight for sure. Maybe, no, una- no maybe way. unanimous. Decision. Five rounds at what? No. I mean, you can keep. How up, many bro. minutes? I'm complimenting you at this point, but like, no, it's pathetic. Know. No, but, I got, I do have. I'm in better shape than he is, which that's yeah. no, that's a fact. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one. Okay. But, yeah. Keep it going. You know, I got, I got the reach. That's two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Mental. He's fat. 
I don't know. I don't know if he's like stronger. I don't know if he's strong, but he's fat. I don't know if he's stronger than me. He might be stronger than me based off of just his body percentage there's, and body. There's a lot of power in fat. Mm-hmm. I am powerful as fuck. <laughs> That's sick. Dude. You can't say fat no more either, dude. Let's bring that back. We say fat yeah, here. Big girls now. On oh, that's hilarious. Back it up. Um, you know, I I feel like the definition of thick is way too broad now. You know, that's just me though. T- yeah, well, tell them how you feel, Chase. I just uh, feel that you know the <laughs> thick weight should be one forty. <laughs> no, I don't know. I feel like um, no, like, no. Like for instance, I had somebody keep oh, that same energy. I had a friend of mine. They were like, "Yo, Lizzo." She thick though, and I was like, "Nah, man, <laughs> <laughs> she's 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 beyond thick." To I you? was like, "Clinically obese, more like beyond beef." Um, <laughs> man, <laughs> Impossible Burger. Nah, I got beef with Lizzo because she fucking showed her like she showed her like she ass, her ass cheeks yeah. at a fucking Laker game. The audacity! What's up with that? Where there's cheering everywhere, you can show your ass cheeks and cheering. The cheering, <clears throat> cheering. the cheering. I that's think, uh, who that, gave her those courtside seats more like, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually watching the legacy of the Los Angeles Los Angeles Lakers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, what's good? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's an edit. Have you, um, <laughs> welcome to We Might Be Drunk with uh, <laughs> Mark Norman and Sam Morell. <clears throat> have you seen a, hey. Have you seen Winning Time? Comedy. Uh, on HBO? Yeah. Dude, so good, man. I fucking love that show. The guy who plays Jerry Jerry Buss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. Oh, my God. Um, my absolute favorite character, man. Uh, John C. Riley. No. Uh, okay, okay, fuck. Uh, Jerry West. Oh, Jerry West. Dude, that guy Oh, he's it, great. Yeah, yeah, I man. forgot his name. Just, I, I, I would never see Jerry West like that, you know? And they brought that to life. I thought that was, that was cool, man. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. How I like to wrap up That's Hilarious is I always like to give suggestions. Um, I always love to give comedy, music, and movie suggestions to go out there and watch. So we're going to start with movies um, or whatever you're watching right now. What's something that the people out there should watch that y'all have seen recently (laughs) that you fucking love and they should watch it too? Uh Ink Master on Paramount Plus. <laughs> it's fucking lit. But you have to skip half the episode and Ink- just watch the tattoo. <laughs> Ink Master is lit, though. <laughs> I fucking love Ink Master. What about you, Pat? What you been watching lately, man? Uh, I'm watching The Patient. It's uh, Steve Carell, which is hard because it's a fucking dark, serious fucking uh, series, uh, min- miniseries or whatever. But it's a very serious, dark thing. And like, there's moments where like he has to yell and like, act like uh not funny (laughs) act not funny but it's so hard to like take him serious because you just know him as the funny guy you know loud noise ass you know uh but yeah the patient's fucking it's fire right now finished all five series waiting for more to come out or all five episodes uh because they're short Mm. like 21 episodes uh that's on hulu too hulu sponsor the podcast sponsor the podcast network hulu hulu Hulu. did y'all see the uh wrestling coach movie he did I no. think it was like Foxcatcher. Foxcatcher. Yeah, I man. Have it, no. And that, that got a lot of like. Corral? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Channing Tatum, I believe. He yes. just played it like a shitty coach that would, you know, something like that. But it you, got a lot of like good reviews. What you watching? I just actually finished watching the season one of The Bear. Did mm. you ever watch The Bear? That's intense too. On that's Hulu? a fucking good one. Onions that's a great one. I've never worked in. I mean, I've been a busboy. That's about it. And a dishwasher. But I've never been like a chef. There's one episode on that thing, I, 20 minutes, all fucking stress. <laughs> yeah. All fucking stress That's the awesome. whole time. And it just ends. I was like, there's no like release. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking stressed out for you. Yeah. It's, fuck, it's intense. Um, the yeah, bear. The Bear was great. Uh, I, I heard about it a long time ago when it came out and stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, I just finally got around to it. So The Bear is great on Hulu. If you're a fucking Laker fan, obviously, Sponsor go watch podcast. Legacy. Um, Let's go. Oh my god, yeah, that's great. All right, so those are the shows y'all should go and fucking watch. Yeah. Um, what about music? What y'all been on lately? Uh, what you been on, Chase? I just found out about a new artist. Actually, he's pretty sick. I heard him on XM Radio. Shout out, <laughs> serious fans. His name is Marcus King, and he has a new album called Young Blood. 
It's pretty fucking sick. I don't know if y'all like Texas Western Southern hard rock, but that's what it is. And it's good as fuck, man. Check it out. He was his album was produced by Dan Arbach. I believe that album was produced. So Black Key, shout out. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good shit. I like that. What you been on, Pat? Uh, I found this new rapper. I, I, I dig into rap sometimes. It's called uh, Your Old Droog. Oh, I've heard of that. Y-O-D. What's up with that? Do you think they mean drug, or is that just the millennial way of saying it? Was a- Droog, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Y-O-D. Uh, he has, uh, yeah, the album I'm checking right now, it's called Y-O-D and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. Y-O-D, Your, o- your Old Droog. Yod. Nice. I've uh, actually recently just been on uh, Slash featuring Miles Kennedy and That's the awesome. Conspirators. Um, Guns and Roses Slash? That's sick, dude. Yeah. Guns and Roses Slash. <laughs> yes, yeah. dude. Um, he came out with like with a few projects with this guy named Miles Kennedy. Fucking killer voice. I don't know if y'all have, uh, y'all have heard of him. No. Have y'all like ever heard the new Slash shit? No, mm-hmm. not at all. Dude, Miles Kennedy's got such a great fucking voice. Uh, better than Axel, I would say. Especially now. But... Guns N' Roses actually came back together for a concert. Like, Axel and Slash and Duff, they were all on stage together. It was fucking dope. Mm, for make like a, that money. For like a benefit, for sure. But um, go Spotify slash The River Is Rising. Uh, that's a fucking great song. That's like my first song I play when I go to the gym. It's really? fucking just gets me pumped to shit. Yeah, didn't, Slash. Didn't you see Motley Crue when they came to town? Yeah, I snuck in. Bro. I snuck into That's that awesome, concert. That's awesome, man. The most rock and roll thing I've ever That's done. Sick. Does, was Poison there, too? <laughs> yeah, it was what like... What the fuck, dude? That's I missed sick. their set, but it was Joan Jett, Poison, Def Leppard, and Motley Crue. I walked... I snuck in during Def Leppard's set, and I got to see, like, the classics still there, playing, like, Rock of Ages, Hysteria, Photograph, Pour Some Sugar on Me. I got to catch all that shit, and then Motley Crue what came the through and, like, rocked the house. Um, That's dope that you got to see all my Molly so, Cruz set. I saw all of Molly Cruz set. I was so happy shit, for real, man. Yeah, I was like, hey, fucking, uh, because it was like real scumbaggy of me. But I was like, hey, look, I need get it done, man. Come I on. need to use the ATM inside to pay for my ticket. And then you like, tweeted that out. I was yeah. like, holy shit, is he like planning his moves now? Like, and they were I like, all right, this. yeah, just go inside, fucking use the ATM, come back outside and pay for the ticket. And I was like, okay, cool. So I go inside and I ask the ladies, I'm like, hey, where's the fucking ATM? <laughs> ask, ask the ushers. Yo, and they're like, yeah, yo. just keep going. Like, go all the way down to the left. You're going to see it. And I was like, all right. Um, so I go and like, I'm like, dude, no one's following me. Like, no one's paying attention like no one really cares i'm like i'm already in this bitch so i go and like i just i just fucking i said fuck it dude i was like i'm I'm in this bitch already that's pretty dope yeah coolest thing i've ever seen people did that for the uh final four when they were in town a couple years ago too absolutely show up all right and last but not least uh i said movies music and what literature literature (laughs) i love mad libs and, (laughs) and stuff oh comedy yeah, mm, what's a what's a funny comedy thing you've seen lately? I'll start. Like, actually, if you don't, <laughs> <laughs> I got a good one. This is a funny sketch that I've seen. Also, go like uh, Gillian Keeves on fi- on oh, YouTube. Geez. Everything. If you haven't checked out Gillian Keeves on YouTube, they're fucking Shane Gillis it just kills it. Season two with the sketch comedy. But um, look up Euro Training on YouTube. My wife and kids episode. Terry Crews comes on there and just like it's, it's fucking hilarious. They're in the gym and he does this ridiculous uh like, you know, routine and fucking uh what's the Wayne's w- w- which who? I don't know. Sean Wayne. The best Marlon one. Wayne's. No, my wife and kids. Dude, what a great show, bro. Was that on ABC? Yeah. It was on my he oh man, he's Damon so Wayans. good. Damon Wayne. Dude. They knocked that shit out of the park, I'll tell you what. Damon motherfucking Waynes and, uh, yeah, Terry Crews Euro training on YouTube. It's a funny, it's a funny scene. It's like five minutes, it, but that's legit comedy. Like it was, it was so good. It was sketch comedy. It was back in the day. Um, mm. I know there's like a lot of new comics that come out with like a lot of new specials. I haven't seen Sam Morell's new special. I've been meaning to watch that. <clears throat> and there's like a couple of other great, uh, comedy shits out there that I haven't seen lately, but as far as comedy goes, for sure. Go look up that old uh, sketch scene. 
Absolutely. Do y'all enjoy like watching comedy specials, or is it like a task for y'all? I I can't watch them. I like <laughs> I'll, I'll watch clips and stuff, but yeah, I just don't want to get like influenced by anybody. I've else. I've heard that. Yeah. I've yeah. Heard that. But also, you could look at it as I'm not going to copy these jokes. Yeah. Mm. I'm <clears throat> I'm still I'm <clears throat> I'm still a fan of comedy. Like it's hard to like be a fan of comedy once you do it and stuff like that. But I've still maintained that like, Hey, if I like you, like I, like I just saw Mrs. Pat, like, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like a fucking LOL. Cause I've always loved Mrs. Pat. I've yes. never seen her. Like I'm still, I still get excited Super funny, man. for comedy, like new comedy that I haven't seen before. And if I'm a fan of you, like I still love comedy that much. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm still a fan of comedy, man. Good. Um, no, I mean I'm I'm a fan of good. comedy and stuff, but like the whole thing, like okay, so say when I was in bands, you know, like I would like dig into like certain bands because the project that I was working on at that time was going to be influenced by this, that, the other. I'm afraid to like watch specials or watch other comics and then like take that, take their essence or like their things here and there. Uh, mm. So I don't know, but yeah, I mean I, I still love comedy and uh, yeah. That's good. I That's think fine. I'm more on board with you, though. Like, you would, because, like, I understand what you're saying, but, like, if you were watching it, like, you would be like, oh, okay, that's been done. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, just, and plus, like, I'm <clears throat> I'm still young in it. Like, I've only been doing it for five years. I'm still trying to, like, find my voice. So I don't want to yeah. be outside influenced by something that somebody that's already doing something. Oh, okay. I can't wait to try some new shit tonight. Or we got to wrap up. <laughs> All right. All right, sick. Comedy. Uh, yeah, check out a uh, Bye Guys podcast with I Ian Feedance. Ian Feedance. Yes, he is very funny. How do you feel about that one, Jakey? I haven't heard it. I'm going to check oh, it out. haven't though. you? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the video's off, so we're, now we're just audio. I'm biased. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll wrap up comedy. Uh, Pat, a really quick. Damn really quick, Pat. Producer Pat, you fucking dropped the ball, dude. <laughs> yeah, what's up? No, dude. What's shout, your... <laughs> shout out headphone listeners. <laughs> what's your comedy recommendation? Headphone warning. Go. Uh, check out uh, Tony Baker. Tony Baker did a... a uh, Motherfucking right. He did a, a spot on Jeremiah Watkins uh, on the spot or stand up, stand on, the up spot. on the spot. Fucking killed it. Tony Baker. I love Check Tony Baker. You too. All right, guys. Well, thank you for fun. being here. Thank you for doing this. I love you guys. Thanks. Thank you for doing it. Uh, be on the lookout for the next. Uh, That's hilarious. And go subscribe to Dude Man Homie Bro. Ooh. Love you. Peace. Later. <laughs>